Hey guys, John here. Uh, I wanted to clarify something that I said the other day because I got, I got a couple comments that uh, that made me say I really should get on there and explain what I'm talking about. Um, someone made the comment that, that they liked what, what the video was saying, but they did not like when I said there is no God outside of ourselves. And that line is an interesting line because what that line, to me, what that means is God and I are one. And there is no separate entity of God. You know, God and I are one. And so, and God or you are one. And God, you know, we are all one in God, in the source, in the yada yada, right? And the, the interesting thing that, that's, that people get, a, get stuck on in spirituality, and specifically religious spirituality, is the fact of this outer deity. And everything is everything that you experience in this world is God. You know, even the hand in front of your face that you, you hold up is made of pure energy. It's made of God. Every, everything you experience is God. And you and God are not separate from one another. You are one together. Your individuality is within God. It's all part of God. So there is no separate entity of God. That's my point. It's God is there. But God is a collective. God is, is all of us as one. And we are God as well. And so that to me is important. The other thing is, the other question, the other comment that I got was uh, about someone saying, I wish I could uh, experience that, that, that connection, that oneness. And um, I want to say this because finding God and finding your connection is nothing external. In fact, in fact, it's far from external. Being one with God means that you aren't searching for a connection. You're acknowledging a connection. And when you acknowledge the connection and realize that, that you are one with God, then the connection becomes more pronounced because your awareness of it alone makes you more connected because suddenly you're realizing, oh, I am connected. Now, let me just say this. Every one of you is already the creator. Let me say that again. Every one of you is already the creator. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, in my other videos, I talked about, you know, I am being God's name, right? Every day of your life, you make present moment declarations about your life. I am struggling today. I have a headache today. I, I am hungry. I am, you know, I am poor, I am weak, I am tired, I am lonely, I am, you know, I am unlovable, I am unworthy. These are, these are I am statements. These are creative statements. These are God's gift to you. Whatever you ask in God's name is granted if you have faith. Whatever you ask in God's name is granted if you have faith. Well, you are putting a lot of faith in your, in your declarative st statements. I am struggling. You have a lot of faith in that statement. I am poor. You have a lot of faith in that statement. I am unlovable. You have a lot of faith in that statement. And in every moment of your day, you are, you are putting a prayer out to God. Well, you are asking God. And how you ask is by declaring your statements, your present moment I am statements. And so there is not a moment in your day that you have not been the creator because that was the promise. That was what was given to you. What was given to you was ask and you shall receive. Whatever you ask in God's name is granted if you have faith, if you have belief. Shakespeare said words without thoughts never to heaven go. Well, we subconsciously send our words and our thoughts to heaven and heaven surrounds our experience with our belief and it's it's the belief that moment of creation is is every moment of your day because there's only one moment that you live it's the i am moment and i am tired i am weak i am hungry i am lonely i am starving i am unlovable i am unworthy i am i am joyful i am happy i am wealthy i am exceedingly uh, abundant those are different, different statements. Different, and if you put belief behind those statements, then your life is surrounded by those experiences. 
But when you don't put belief in those statements and you put belief in the opposite, you get the opposite. Because it does not say, whatever you ask in God's name is granted if I want you to have it. Or if you can figure out how. It says, ask, believe, receive. And so you need to step into the role of creator and realize that you and God are not separate from one another. You and God create together every day of your life. You are creating in this moment. You are, you, I am watching that video. I am listening to this and listening for my personal truth. I am feeling connected to this information because, or I think this guy's full of crap. You know, whatever I am believing this is not true, that, that's okay too. That's your creative experience. That's you as a creator experiencing. And no one can tell you what you should create. No one can tell you what you are going to create. Only you are in charge of that. You as the creator, one with God, get to get to be in charge of that. God is never separate from you. God is always with you. God is always creating for you. And God is in your present I am moment. And you need to step into looking at what you're thinking and believing and saying about your present moment. So when you look at your present moment, say, what do I believe? What am I putting faith in? I, I am searching. God's name, I am searching. God gives you searching. I am recognizing, I am acknowledging, I am feeling my oneness with God. I am experiencing a connection to my God. I am communicating with, with, with God. I am. I am, I am, I am. Believe. Get conscious about what you are believing. Get conscious about what you are saying. And get conscious about what you are creating because you are the creator of that experience. You are the one who gets to bring it into, into reality. You are the one who has the ability with God to, to create. You are the wand with which God's magic is performed. And you get to decide what the wand is creating because you are never separate from God. You are always one with God. You are always with God. And God is always creating what you decide because that was the promise. Whatever you, whatever you ask in God's name is granted if you have faith. The biggest issue is how do you ask? You ask through declarations, not affirmation or prayer. You ask through, I declare, whatever you ask. Thank you, God, I am receiving. Amen. You know, thank you, God. Now, that's, that's my prayer slash no, prayer. It's a formula, and what that formula is is a present moment statement. You know, I, I end it with amen because it means it's done right here, right now. I believe it, and the belief of it being done right here, right now brings it into fruition. It brings it into creation, and you need to step into the realization that you and God are never separate. There's no need to search for God outside of yourself because you and God are creating right now. Right now in this moment, you and God are creating together. You and God are never separate. You and God are always creating something new and different. And it's all about you choosing and stepping into the role of creator. You are the children of God. I am the son of God. That's what Jeshua was about, right? The only difference was one of them stepped into the role of creator and the others hadn't yet. And it's now it's time. This is the time for humanity to step into the role of creating a joyful, happy world with, and not inflict fear any longer. And that's what we're doing, and that's where we're going, and that's what we're growing, and that's what's being created. And so step into the role of creator and help us create that. Live loving, because God is love. And you live loving, you are creating with God. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below it right now and, and join in the comments section. Add a comment comment on someone else's. Let's get this community talking about these topics and let's get, get this information out there. Also, if you really like this or you really resonate with some of the things that I'm saying on this channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and share because it's, this information is not about us holding it to ourselves. It's about spreading it out so we can change the, the perspective of the world so people can find their own truth so we can create a more loving world. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let's get this community really growing. 
and that would be great. And thank you for watching, and thank you for all your support of me. It has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you.